Let's move now to Wisconsin, home to controversial Republican Senator Ron Johnson, who is best known nationally, at least often for the doubt he has cast on things like the COVID vaccine, also the 2020 election results. And now Ron Johnson is hoping to keep his job, keep his seat in a contest there in Wisconsin where race has also played a role. It's where we find Adriana Diaz in the city of Appleton, Wisconsin. Adriana, good morning. Good morning. Wisconsin is the only state that President Biden won where a Republican senator is up for re-election. So Democrats could flip a Senate seat here. But in true Wisconsin fashion, the polling shows it's going to be a photo finish. On election eve, Democratic Senate candidate Mandela Barnes, Wisconsin's lieutenant governor, talked kitchen table issues from a supporter's living room. Despite slipping in the polls since late summer, he told us his supporters will turn out to oppose Republican Senator Ron Johnson's positions on abortion, Medicare and jobs. Meanwhile, in another Milwaukee suburb, Johnson rode into a cheering crowd. He focused on the economy and the need for unity and blasted his opponent for believing in institutional racism. Early voting has already surpassed 2018 numbers. Now, a source with the Barnes campaign tells us they're feeling, quote, cautiously optimistic. A source with the GOP party here says they're feeling, quote, really good. Guys, it could crack 50 degrees here. That's practically scorching by Wisconsin standards. My coat's open. And that bodes well for turnout. Tony? Yeah, Adriana, it always comes down to turnout, and weather is a big part of turnout. Thank you very much.